you have 13 pages of instructions. It's easier to do with small chunks versus one huge list that's not organized. This makes our lives easier. Organized chaos. That's the best way, the very best way I know to describe getting ready to move. I have a bullet point list of about 15 things that I need to get done today. And the very first thing on my list is to get this lawn mowed. may have gotten just a touch ambitious on the mowing. In addition to the lawn, I decided it was also time to mow. Next to the barn, next to the garage, the edge of the property, the access road to the lower field, the horse runs, and the goat pen. I need to just run inside and take a quick shower because I feel like there's no more dirt left anywhere out here because it's all just, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. This is without a doubt going to be my most favorite part of the day. I take such a guilty pleasure, a guilty cathartic pleasure in throwing things away and I don't quite understand why. But I love to throw things away. It makes me feel so good. But not just throwing things away, putting stuff into storage. Now it's the time of the day where I get to move these boxes into storage and throw away the, the rest of the trash. Seriously, I feel like a five-year-old at Christmas just thinking about what I get to do next. Sometimes I feel that half the reason why I enjoy packing and moving so much is because it's just a huge game of Tetris. That's what happens when you grow up in the 90s, 80s. And my parents said video games would never teach me anything. Yeah, not too bad, huh? Right from there, this corner, and that stack right there. I just added them. I win at moving Tetris. I just talked with Erica about what to do next, and she actually surprised me with the next thing on the list that she wants me to get done. I didn't, didn't expect this at all, but it's one of my most favorite things, so I was okay with it. Erica came up to me and said, hey, I've got something to add to your list. And at first I was like, no, God, no, 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 no. And then she said, how about if we light off the burn pile today? And I was like, yes, 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 yes. I mean, who am I to say, no, I don't, I don't want to play with fire. I mean, burn the burn pile for you, Erica. Of course I'll do it. Are you ready for probably the dumbest thing that you're going to hear all day? Yeah, I forgot how hot fires were. And working around that thing for so long, I feel kind of like a baked potato, which reminded me <laughs> I'm hungry and it's time for dinner because apparently a near run with a heat stroke makes me feel like eating something. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go have dinner. Over dinner, Eric and I planned out the rest of our night. And I'm not kidding you, I seriously think that she plans on staying up for most of the night just to keep packing and working on things. I <laughs> like, all right, more power to her. I agreed to move some of the furniture outside. Uh, and then after that, I'm probably gonna start winding down. It's gonna take me like, I don't know, two or three hours to get all that, all that taken care of. And then tomorrow we pick up for round two. Yeah, that's right. This isn't it. We're not done yet. We have a full day of, of more stuff to do tomorrow. It's a great thing about moving. It never ends. Where's my little buddy? <gasps> there you are. Come on, hand truck. We've got a job to do. I swear, sometimes I can get more done with this dolly than, if, than I could if I had like another person around to help. I don't know why that is. It just it doesn't talk back. <laughs> it follows directions. It knows what it's doing and it's pretty strong. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's in no way, shape or form a reflection on my ability or inability to work with other people. Where's, where's my motivation? Oh, that's right. 
<laughs> it left about five hours ago. That was the most uncoordinated, awkward of moving furniture I've ever done. There's got to be an easier way to have done that. All right, this part, this is gonna be a chore. Not only is it bigger than the other side, but it's got a, it's got a fold away bed in here. If I were to guess, I'd say this thing probably weighs about 400 pounds just by itself. Probably only about 200, but to me it feels like 400, especially the later it gets. In about an hour now, it would probably feel like a thousand pounds. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna get that out of here. Yeah. Wiggle away and work on it until something happens. Step, I'm gonna bring the doll in, put it against this side right here, and then I've got a secret weapon. I'm pulling out every trick in the book that I know here. Did you see what I did there? I got a shot of the couch disappearing into the sunset. I did not see that, but that's funny. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, couch. Riptide, go get him. Okay, there's, there's Riptide right there, and Cinder the cat is on that ledge over there. Riptide is being very stealthy. There's no way that Cinder, Cinder sees her. And cat safe. Yep. That is seriously about 974 for the cat and zero for the dogs. But knowing them, they'll keep trying. It's well after 10. Just got done moving everything. I'm finished for the night. I think Erica's finished for the night. Tomorrow we're gonna get up and do round two, yeah? I'll take that as a yes.